Hi everyone, uh, my name is Ofer, uh, Ofer Moni, and I am here to give you a very short talk about um, our activities at LFAI and the Generative AI Commons. Um, if you attended my previous talk just before lunch, uh, I kind of uh, will come back to many of the slides, but we'll conclude with different uh, set of uh, uh, slides. And my goal in this talk is to get you interested in what we are doing and to invite you to join us. So if it's an interesting enough, I hope you will want to contribute a little bit uh, with us. Um, so this is the LFAI, uh, the organization uh, that uh, I personally uh, had the privilege to co-found uh, in 2018, uh, we promote uh, open source AI. Uh, this is a non-profit organization, part of the larger Linux Foundation, uh, focused on open source AI. We are organized into three different uh, areas, and I'm sorry for those of you who attended the previous talk. Kind of. Uh, uh, you will have the opportunity to uh, learn again the same things. So we have the governing board on the... I have this, I think. The governing board, uh, the governing uh, uh, board and the, all the uh, associated organizations on the, uh, on the left. Then the more interesting area, which is the Technical Advisory Council. Uh, I've been the first chair of this organization, and basically this is the organization that... Um, do the actual work, <laughs> uh, basically bringing new projects into the foundation and, uh, and working on all the other activities, all the other committees. And recently, we started this Generative AI Commons, which is another uh, uh, group, another organization within the LFAI, which is focused on Generative AI. Some uh, statistics about the organization. So we started it in 2018. Um, we started it with one project, a um, very interesting project similar to Hugging Face. Like it was a, a machine learning uh, a model marketplace, uh, less successful than Hugging Face, apparently. But uh, this was the first, uh, the first uh, uh, project that um, initiated this entire organization, and uh, now we have more than 70 projects. We see 67, but some of them are still not uh, fully onboarded. Um, we have more than 3,000 uh, uh, organizations contributing, uh, 75 members, and members could be paid members, and non-profit and, and universities uh, can join for free. Um, uh, across our projects, we have more than 200 million lines of code. Uh, we have more than 100,000 contributors, individuals that contributed to our projects. 30,000 of, 30, of them are active uh, contributors, which means that contributed in the past year. And uh, overall, we have more than 250,000 GitHub stars, which is a lot. Uh, this morning uh, in the keynote, I saw the Hugging Face uh, a guy uh, telling us that they have 350,000. So this is pretty good. I would uh, assume that they have more, way more, but we are par. Uh, some uh, projects uh, uh, hosted, not all of them, because as I mentioned, not all of them are still uh, uh, are yet uh, fully onboarded. Some of the organizations that uh, host projects with us, not all of them yet. And everything, all the information in the past two slides is coming from this AI landscape. So this is a landscape that we have created with most of the open source projects out there. And of course, we highlight our projects. Uh, and I encourage you, if you're interested, scan this uh, barcode, this is an interactive landscape, you can play with it and, and um, see many different things. Let's uh, jump to the Generative AI Commons. So um, 
we started the generative AI commons uh, last September. Um, we defined our goals and, and we managed to bring uh, quite a lot of people to uh, contribute. So we have um, more than 200 active members uh, that help us promote uh, generative AI open source and promote um, responsible AI as well, responsible generative AI. Um, we are organized in five uh, work streams. Um, frameworks, models and data, applications, responsible AI, and education and outreach. Um, and we are, uh, we meet, um, each, each work stream meets every other week, and then the other week uh, we meet the entire uh, generative AI commons to um, see presentations from the industry, to discuss our achievements, to discuss our projects and, and how we uh, move forward. I personally lead the education and outreach, so I'm uh, uh, the uh, education and outreach chair. Uh, I am part of the responsible AI uh, uh, um, work stream as well. And the responsible AI, this is, this is an interesting story. We started the responsible AI in a different name, like, five or six years ago, when we started the foundation. And in, we called it Trusted AI, and initially it was pretty hard to hold the meetings because there was not interest. We, we used to meet what, once a month, and it was like, in many cases, we canceled the, meeting, the meetings because we didn't have an agenda. We didn't have enough interest. And in the past year, you probably assume that this responsible AI domain is, is booming. Uh, we moved from sometimes once a month to twice a month and sometimes once a week even because of the demand. And we basically uh, help and promote responsible uh, use uh, of AI and specifically in, uh, um, in generative AI. Um, the last slide that I have, uh, I wanted to highlight some of the activities that we are doing, and I can spend some time on each one of them. The first one is the model, model openness framework. This is the base uh, for what will become the base work that we have done that will allow, or that is part of what will be the definition of open source AI. And uh, um, that was presented uh, by Ibrahim uh, uh, yesterday uh, as part of the keynote. Uh, so this is an important uh, contribution that we have done uh, uh, lately. Um, we are running a lot as part of my activity or my, my team's activity. We do a lot of, uh, 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 we do surveys, a lot of thought leadership with events, webinars, blogs. Uh, courses that we, we have uh, um, provided uh, via the Linux Foundation Education, or whatever it's called, uh, research or education. Um, so we are doing quite a lot of, uh, uh, creating quite a lot of, uh, a lot of content. Um, we've created a generative AI glossary, which is uh, basically a glossary of terms in generative AI, and this is a collabor collaborative effort. So we have the version one on the website already. If you scan this um, barcode, you, you, you will get to our website and you will see the glossary. Uh, and basically, we look for more contribution and we will update it uh, as we get more uh, uh, information. Uh, we are working now on the generative AI, the responsible generative AI framework. So basically, we are trying to um, duplicate uh, the idea of creating the model openness framework into the responsible AI framework. So basically defining what responsible AI is and uh, create um, some tools for the community in order to build responsible AI. Um, we're working also on a research, pro research project about uh, open source versus closed source, mainly in, uh, in the enterprise domain. And I hope that you're interested. I hope that you will want to join us. This is a, a link to my LinkedIn. Uh, please connect with me. If you want to contribute, reach out. Uh, uh, we need more contribution. We need contribution from the technical uh, uh, people, and we need contribution for 
others as well, because it's very important to uh, voice uh, different voices as part of this uh, uh, work on open source. And um, yeah, that's it. Any questions? Okay, so thank you very much.